Now, how have you felt about the name changes throughout the years? And really, there's only been only two, one. So. Two. Well, for us, us abbreviated. Okay. Well, we dropped the UVA, UVA. part. Oh, yeah, that's oh. Right. yeah, well, actually, it changed even before that way. It used to have names, strange names it back did. in the teens. Yeah, when right. It to, when it was to yeah. state teacher and all that. Well, it was pretty controversial among alumni our age and other ages, but we had some very vocal opponents in our class. I think, yeah, the big thing, <coughs> because really they, I think they really wanted to name. Mason Washington. There was no the Washington Chip. Monroe. That's Washington Monroe. The University of Virginia, or something like that. Some very long. That I think they really wanted to walk, drop the Mary because yes. they were still and still are trying to um, yes. appeal to men. So um, I know that that this is not the name that the committee really wanted. I think they still wanted Washington Monroe University. I think it was. Yeah, and there was even a just just so, Washington, I think, too. As a well, I think because there are too many Washington. But anyway, it was very. People were very upset about, you know, not believing the Mary. So, um, I mean, I didn't get terribly involved in it, and send letters. No. But, you know, we talked about it at every reunion. I know. Yeah. It took a long. It, they worked on that. A long the time. Go ahead. The, the focus right. groups had shown that. Potential students <clears throat> were turned off, potential male students were turned off a little by the feminized name of the school and were going other places, <coughs> excuse me, like Madison or um, Pam and Sydney or George Mason or anywhere else that didn't have such a feminine sounding name. And so because the president was so anxious to grow the co-ed component of the school population, he thought that that would be a good change to help do that. But you know how older people are about change. They didn't like it much. Well, and not only that, I think a lot of us felt like, okay, so maybe right now in this time, the Mary Washington is a problem, but we need to hang on, you know, if we're going to have women really be on a par with men right. and get past that hurdle that, that we were growing up through, then we need to hang on to Mary Washington as the name of the school. And I don't know whether guys now Oh, it's not nearly, much. I don't think, because of the reputation of the school overrides yeah. anybody's mm -hmm. hesitancy about coming to a school with a I, woman's name. So I think right. most of us wanted it to be Mary Washington University, though. Rather than <coughs> right. University of Mary Washington. We never did quite understand that. Although I haven't tried Googling MWU. At least if you Google UMW, you get Mary Washington. You get the United 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 United